Hello and welcome to the video. Gina Curl presents the history of curly perms. Before we begin, I'd like to ask that you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. It really help us out. Please also consider following us on Instagram. Now, let's get into it. The history of long-lasting curls dates back as far as the late 18th century. The first long-lasting hair waving technique, invented in 1870 by French hair stylist, Marcel Gratteau, who invented the Marcel iron. This is not a curly permanent but the start of curling hair with direct heat. Most women wore their hair long at the time, and Marcel used heated irons to produce a stylish wave as an alternative to the curls which were in trend at the time. A wave machine, producing even longer-lasting results was premiered by Swiss hairdresser, Carl Nessler in 1906 in England. Nessler wrapped the hair in a spiral around rods connected to a machine with an electric heating device. Sodium hydroxide was applied and the hair was heated to 100 degrees Celsius or more for an extended period of time. It took six hours to complete. These hot rollers were kept from touching the scalp. The first two attempts resulted in completely burning the client's hair off and some scalp burns. The method was improved and his electric permanent wave machine was used in London at his own salon. In 1928, Marjorie Joyner, an African-American hairdresser, patented her dome-shaped helmet which used an electrical current to heat hair that was clamped in one-inch sections. She developed it to help African-American women who wanted to change the tight curl of their hair to a wave. Although it also proved to help with Caucasian women's hair. Adding curl to their straight hair. Joyner also patented a scalp protector to make the procedure more comfortable. Her rights to this and to the permanent waving machine were assigned over to Madame Walker. Traditional Ammonium Thioglycolate Curly Permanence. The Jerry Curl was a permanent wave hairstyle that was popular among women and men of color during the late 70s through early 90s. Invented by the hairdresser, Jerry Redding, who also was co-founder of Redken in 1960, and Germac Products in 1968, and in Nexus Products in 1979. The Jerry Curl was the first curly perm that was created for tightly coiled hair, made from ammonium thioglycolate and special additives that would have to be added to the perm solution and neutralizer. Among these additives were EFA oils, magnesium, vitamin E oils. The thiol combination was applied only once to the hair while the stylist rods the hair on the perm rods and then an oxidation neutralizer is applied after the chemical on the perm rods are rinsed and blotted dry. This was a single processed perm. After the process, the jerry curl requires that you wet the hair, spray in an oil moisturizer and then use a daily activator to boost the curls. After the jerry curl was invented other companies created their own version of curly perms for women and men of color. They were considered jerry curls only because these curly perms were too created for tight coiled hair. But, the technique was altogether different from the original jerry curl. With these processes the chemical is applied twice, once to straighten the hair, rinsed and another chemical applied while rotting the hair on the perm rods to form its shape. Then an oxidation neutralizer is also used. So, needless to say it was a double processed perm. In 1978 Gina serviced the original Jerry Redding Jerry Curl and was considered the queen of the Jerry Curl. Her clientele drove from around the state of Connecticut to have their Jerry Curl serviced by Gina. Gina continued to use Jerry's method even after he discontinued his Jerry Curl. Gina created her own curly perm for textured hair by using different perms and additives to create her own curl. As time went on, and the natural hair movement changed the way women of color styled their hair. Women were now learning how to maintain their locks and their natural hair was growing and growing healthy. She knew this method would not retain health and length because there was no way to isolate the previously treated hair each time a client came back for a retouch as with the other types of perms on the market. So, that when she put her mind to it and created the Gina Curl. In 2012 the Gina Curl was created by stylist and educator Gina Esposito Rivera. A stylist in the hair industry since 1976 and the business entrepreneur of hair's talent since 1985. The Gina Curl can take 4C hair to a soft, bouncy curl, retaining length and health to the hair. 
Never over-processing the hair because of her unique one-of-the-kind formula and technique. The Gina Curl, a curl reformer is also ammonium thioglycolate-based perm. But Gina worked night and day with her chemist to create an incredible perfect one-of-its-kind blend of components to achieve amazing, healthy long-lasting results. Gina conducted a trial and error experiment on three clients that agreed to participate. She held back advertising her technique until it was proven to retain length and moisture in the hair. Once these three women came back for their second retouch Gina knew that her technique was a success and very different than the others. In 2020 Gina created her very own Gina Curl Curl Reformer line, Gina Curl Replenishing Shampoo and Gina Curl Replenishing Treatment. In 2021 Gina launched her Gina Curl Academy, teaching and certifying stylists around the globe. To find out more information about Gina Curl's certification course, go to hairstalent.com slash stylists. If you are a stylist and want to learn this amazing one-of-its-kind technique, go to learn.thegenacurl.com. To purchase recommended products to service your Gina Curl or Gina Straight variation, go to shop.hairstalent.com slash collections slash all. We also have a referral program. Go to ginacurl.me slash refer and learn more. In our next video I will explain the differences between all of the curly perms on the market today. So you can understand why women and men travel from around the globe to Hair's Talent Salon in Connecticut, and why they also travel to Gina's certified stylists who can be found at. Thanks for watching the video.